when it comes to your go bag or survival kit we're looking for more and more space to put more and more products and yet lessen the weight and so one of the things that I came across and actually from my good friend uh, Chris Jensen who works for Century Arms uh, he picked up one of these little cell vaults it's from Thyram it's just a really small little tube it's a pretty cool little self-contained waterproof gear attachable container and it comes in different colors here's one in the FDE it opens up has a uh, gasket right here that makes it waterproof and then it closes down and snaps onto your gear a really cool little system now one of the things I've done here is I have a paracord that I've been working on uh, just to put paracord attach it to this just as a redundancy and uh, make this just a little more usable there are two lanyard points here and then up here which allows you to put the paracord or you can just have a lanyard or whatever else you want to do as a tie down now I knew I'd seen this clip technology before <laughs> and this is a little potato chip uh, clip you know to keep the air out and so uh, they went a step further and really created something I think is pretty cool now these are made from some kind of polymer that's pretty strong and yet it has a little bit of a bendability the hinge right here allows this to open up it has some strength with all these little uh, cavities right here and then just snaps slip this right through your molly compatible webbing snap it and it's secure uh, one of the things you might want to do because I guess this could get inadvertently hit but if you see it holds really well from this direction it's pulling it back toward your pack uh, and you know if you really had any kind of concerns about that you could actually use the lanyard to secure it to the webbing but it's a pretty good secure pull in fact I'm pulling this pretty heavy and it's not coming loose do this it comes right out if I need it I can take it right off we're going to go through a number of different uses to set up little kits inside these little tubes uh, I think it's pretty interesting how versatile these can be uh, one of the things about this is it's an oval it's not a complete circle and if you get something shoved down in there and you can't get it out you can actually squeeze the tube and it'll expand in this direction and allow things to fall out one use is a battery compartment uh, here we have three CR123's they just drop right in and then close it and you have security for your batteries uh, now if you lift it up they don't come out right away squeeze and they come out there we go or two double A's it'll also take four triple A's I just don't have them so it'll go two and two now fire is very important in a survival situation uh, it can give you light it can keep you warm uh, it can boil your water it can cook your food it can be just good for morale and one of the things that I like to do is keep a little fire kit is what I call it uh, one thing that I'm going to show this all will not fit in here uh, as shown but you can divide this up however you want to um, so I'm going to give you just some different ideas according to what you want to do uh, these are regular safety matches so I have a small little strike card right here take my matches and I'm going to drop them down first because they're going to be the easiest to to get out and next I want to put in my Vaseline with cotton balls or whatever kind of fire tender that you like to use I just really like this once you get it down in there just close it up and I have a self-contained fire kit right here now one of the things that um, sometimes things can get a little bit stuck especially something like this uh, so you'll want to put this at the top then the matches will just fall right out also use one of the mini lighters now the full-size lighter won't fit it's a little bit too big but the minis will fit just right and then again go right back in with your Vaseline and cotton balls now I've had to really compress that in but we've got plenty of room for the seal and it locks a small medical kit is another idea now these are just some different items and again not all of these will go in so you have to suit it to whatever you use whatever you need um, and one of the cool things about this is even if you have just medications that you need you can put those in here uh, have some antacids and have some uh, Advil 
And then here's some antihistamine, especially if you're allergic to bees or you get uh, allergic reaction. All that medication will go right in here and you're ready to go if you need it. Here we have iodine prep pads that'll fold over. They can slide in. Band-aids. You can even use smaller ones. Chapstick, even though this is pretty much self-contained, if you want to keep it in one area, you can. It'll slide down in. And then Q-tips. And honestly, guys, the sky's the limit when it comes to a first aid kit. There's so many different things you can do. Uh, maybe just something to supplement a standard first aid kit or an IFAC. Or even a survival kit. Uh, the, all of these items will fit into the tube. Uh, and we have a number of different things. Of course, you know, safety pins. It's really easy to slide those in. Bobby pins. A small pencil cut off. And a little pencil sharpener. Even a small little button compass. Now, I did a video on different uses specifically for pencil sharpener. And one of the great things it can do is take a stick and you can actually make kindling or uh, fire tender which is a great little way or you can sharpen a stick for a snare uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with a pencil sharpener other than just sharpen your pencil a small swiss army knife will also fit uh, one of these little olite and this is one of the three e eos really small little light but a lot of power and they're making these lights to where they can really put out a lot of lumens for a small package it'll go in there just easily also a small little multi-tool like this Griffin pocket tool. These are excellent little tools anyway and it makes it really nice because it slips right down in there. Now these are water purification tablets. You probably want to put these in a little Ziploc bag and slide those in here as well. And one thing you can add is a small little sewing kit with thread and a needle or you can actually put together buttons and make this just a dedicated sewing kit. But these little small spools drop right in. And one thing I almost forgot were little zip ties. These fit down in. They're so small. These can go in about any of these. Putting together a small fishing kit. And here you have a hook on a leader with a small sinker. Uh, we have more sinkers here and a smaller hook. Uh, I didn't have one of the small bobbers, but there are some really small bobbers you could probably use. Or you could trim down an existing one to be able to fit down in. Uh, so this will give you just a few things to be able to use. Also, uh, dental floss or just extra fishing line to go and to put it together. That makes a really cool little fishing kit. You can also keep an emergency supply of ammunition just like this 22. There are 22 rounds here and they will all go into the cell vault. And if you have 380, put two in at a time. And here we have eight rounds of 380. But if you're going with 45 ACP, you're only going to get three rounds. But three rounds is better than none. <laughs> now, one of my favorite uses is putting together a spare parts kit for your rifle, especially the AR-15. And this is a complete spare parts kit for field repair that you can put inside this little container. One of the things I try to do is, is really compact some things down, uh, putting the springs together, just making it to where it's a small package as it goes. Uh, and then, of course, the firing pin, when it slides in, uh, you know, it's long and it can kind of fit into different places. But even the disconnector goes right in. Every bit of that spare parts kit's in this container. And now you have what you need if you have an issue with your gun. Guys, the sky is the limit. Now, I know there's a lot of other ideas that are out there. And if you have them, please post them down in the comments below. Um, these are just really cool little systems. I believe these on Optics Planet were $17.99. So, great little deal. I think I actually paid a little more. I bought them on eBay. Uh, but that was one of the best sources that I saw. Um, these are really cool little systems. And if you're not careful, you're going to find yourself putting together a lot of different kits like my good buddy Chris Jensen, which I'm going to include a lot of his kits, uh, just some different pictures right here and let you look.
And I want to thank Chris Jensen from Century Arms. Uh, when I was at the NRA meeting and just got to talking, he's a good friend of mine, and he was really excited about these, and he got me excited. So hopefully this will help you to get your kit a little more organized. Now, guys, there are a couple of other options out there I just wanted to mention. Uh, this is the Keep to Go tubes. These are pretty cool. They're watertight, um, airtight, and they come in different sizes. And I think I got this one at Going Gear. But this is a cool little system, plus you can see what's in there. And then we have the Bastion. This is an aluminum, and it actually has two different caps, top and bottom. So that really makes it nice. If you get something stuck in the bottom, uh, you can push it right out. And this is a really well-made. And these are on magplates.com. And uh, Mike's a really good friend of mine, but these are really cool as well. Not quite as big as the cell vaults, but still very versatile so the thyrum cell vault thumbs way up be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic That way you can attach a lanyard or a paracord bracelet. Okay. Uh, snaps right here. Oops. We have some picks for tooth uh, for floss. Oops, that ain't gonna work. 